Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to set the font size for multiple heading elements. Ooh, this one's good. Okay, applied visual design. Uh, the font size property is used to specify how large the text is in a given element. Uh, this rule can be used for multiple elements to create visual consistency uh, of text on a page. In this challenge, you'll set the values for all H1 through H6 elements to balance the heading sizes. So what they want us to do is set the font size of H1 to a certain one and uh, all the way down to H6. This is actually super useful. Uh, this is this is something that's that's going to happen very often in your web development career, uh, if that's what you're into. Um, it's interesting they left they've left out the styles here, which is exciting because it makes it so that you get to actually just write your very own brand new uh, CSS sheet. And so the way to you know go about this is just to start from the beginning. Um, you know, first off, what we want to do is set the H1 text. So we go H1. And then we set the colon, um, the and then we are going to just write in font size, and then the font size for this one they've decreed uh, by right here that we want it to be 68 pixels. And so now this is big. Whoa. Okay, great. And so H2, um, we want the font size to be 52 pixels. Cool, this one's a little bit smaller. And this is a cascading style sheet. This is exactly what we're going through. H3, we want the font size to be uh, 40. Cool, this one's a little bit smaller. This is actually something that you're going to see often when developing websites. You're trying to set consistent style sheets um, the H4 is going to be 32 pixels. Uh, H5 is going to be 21 pixels. H6 is going to be 14 pixels. Cool. Now I think that we've passed the test. Now there's a few little style things. When people talk about beautiful code, what they mean is your code is clean. It, um, so you see, this style element, it, everything needs to be nested in that, which means we need to highlight all this stuff and press tab to indent it. This makes it so that our code uh, looks a lot cleaner and so that we can see it. And with CSS, um, this is just my style. I like to see a space between each one because each of these elements is important and you only have to write this code once. So it's important to just try to make it look as good as possible. And so now we have a very clean, I'm even going to put spaces in here. We have a very clean like a uh, style sheet and this can be extracted into a CSS sheet that we can work on later. But I'm pretty sure that this is going to pass. Um, there's not much more that I can extend. Uh, I can talk about more with this, but this is just basically how I think about how to write clean code. You can see that this is so easy to see. You know, you've got your H1, you've got your H3. Uh, this is just a good way to write code. Um, let's see if it passes. Great, it's done. Um, I hope this video is helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the video if you guys think that this is uh, worthwhile stuff. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.